Hey guys, Fitness Science here, and I just wanted to do a quick little video about something I saw on Mark Bell's channel, which was this guy who, I don't actually know his name, um, oh, John Anderson, speaking about his 700 grams a day of protein. Um, it's a short three and a half minute video, and I just want to give my thoughts on it as we go through this together, because I think there's a lot of information in here that is misguided, and for the people out there who might be thinking about taking this advice, um, probably not the most smart thing that you could do. Seven hundred grams of protein. Do I consume it? Absolutely. First, you might ask yourself why. Well, let's go back to the beginning. Well. So 700 grams of protein, he starts off with saying he consumes, I'm assuming per day, he didn't actually say, but let's assume it's per day because this seems to be what he's speaking about. Um, yeah, wow, 700 grams a day. We'll keep going and I'll give my thoughts at the end. In the beginning of, of this whole venture of me trying to be a big, strong guy, I was doing everything I knew how to try to get here. Unfortunately, I had acquired some information that told me that eating large amounts of wheat bread, <laughs> wheat bread was gonna get me there. So I was consuming. So wheat bread, yeah, there's, okay, yeah. There's not much protein at all in wheat bread. So I'm not really sure who told him wheat bread would get him as big as he is, but okay. Consuming wheat bread, like it was going out of style and wasn't making a lot of progress, but didn't know any better. Well, one day, my mom was unable to buy wheat bread at the store. And so, what was I going to eat? Well, I opened up the cupboard, and there's a whole shitload of cans of tuna. So I started eating tuna, and I'm eating cans of tuna. And literally, this is in the day where I was way over training. I was doing chess Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And usually by Wednesday and Friday, I, was ha I wasn't as strong. I know it makes a lot of sense, but at the time, I thought that's what I was supposed to do, so I continued to do it. Well, for the first time ever, I'm stronger on Wednesday than I was on Monday. Well, I saw and I think, what was different? No bread, tuna. So I quickly realized what I was eating had a drastic change on my recovery, my strength. So, and yeah, what we do eat will have a big change in how we recover and how we get stronger. We know that muscle protein synthesis occurs in the body after a strenuous resistance training session. And that was probably what he was experiencing. He speaks here about his mum getting the wheat bread initially. So I'm assuming this would have been a lot, a long time ago now. Um, he mentions his age as 49 or 46. So I'm assuming this would have been a long time ago, maybe when he was still living with his parents. I don't really know his individual situation, but it, I mean, that statement is true. What we do eat will have a big impact on how we um, recover. And probably him starting to eat a bit more protein through the tuna, he was experiencing some higher rates of muscle protein synthesis that he may or may not have had before. And therefore his resistance training sessions were better as a result of that more muscle protein synthesis that he was going through. This is where the beginning of 700 grams of protein was born. So I immediately continued consuming mass amounts of tuna. Which also mass amounts of tuna is not the smartest thing to do either. As a protein source, it would be good in small amounts, but we know that mercury levels do start to bioaccumulate in your body. Um, and yeah, mass amounts of tuna is probably not the smartest thing to do if that's your only protein source. Which eventually evolved into chicken, steak, Shortly after I discovered this, I started eating four pounds. Wow. This is a cooked measurement. Four pounds of chicken or beef a day. <clears throat> and over time, it increased. Now I eat basically six to seven pounds. Well, if you do the math on that, six to seven pounds of cooked translates into about, you know, eight-ish pounds of raw. Do the calculation, that is your 700 grams of protein. Now as I get older, I'm... Wow, 700 grams in eight pounds of meat. Wow. Does he say eight? Translates into about seven pounds. Well, if you do the math on seven that, pounds, yeah. seven pounds of cooked 
translates wow. into about, you know. Eight-ish pounds of raw. Do the calculation. That is your 700 grams of protein. Now, as I get older, I'm 49. It's diff so he's 49, eating 700 grams. I'm interested to know if he's been doing this for a while. It would be good if he spoke about whether or how long he's been doing this. Difficult to eat that much. So what I've been doing is I've been actually been supplementing. I shouldn't say supplementing. I've been basically replacing some of the flesh with egg whites because it's easier to digest and easier to consume. My high consumption of protein was an organic discovery by eating tuna rather than wheat bread. As soon as I discovered that, I continued to push the levels of my protein consumption, which I got bigger, stronger, stayed leaner as well. And yeah, he looks huge, to be honest. He looks um, enormous and jacked, but yeah. We were looking at the product of a creature who has consumed huge amounts of protein his whole life. Okay, so he does actually say his whole life, wow. So if we're assuming that he did this since he was young to about 49, it's very interesting. 700 grams a day, that's a lot of protein. It's almost a kilo, or well, let's say three quarters of a kilo of pure protein macros is insane. And currently consuming 700 plus grams of protein per day. So there you have it. Can you do it? Absolutely. Do you have the stones to do it? You're gonna have to find out for yourself. Wow, so yeah, okay. The end comment there was kind of interesting. Do you have the stones to do it? Because the research actually shows that high protein consumption in this excess may actually lead to kidney stones. So that's interesting. Um, 700 grams, wow. The thing is with this amount of protein, he doesn't actually require this much protein. This guy potentially has got into this idea that more is better. And we saw this through his wheat bread and tuna episode. But 700 grams of protein is a ridiculous amount and you don't need that much to build muscle. Studies have shown that 1.62 grams per kilogram per day is enough to stimulate muscle protein synthesis and any amount beyond 1.62 didn't stimulate muscle protein synthesis any more than 1.62 would do. So like 700 grams, if we're assuming he weighs 100 kilos, or he's probably more than 100 kilos, but if he's sort of 100 kilos, that's um, seven grams per kilo of his body weight of protein, which is like a huge amount of protein and way too much than what the literature suggests. The literature also shows that a lot of problems with a high protein diet come down to the way the body metabolizes the proteins themselves. A lot of it is excreted and broken down into urea um, waste products which can damage the kidneys. There's been some limited evidence to show that these waste products are actually, when they get into our blood, they may actually increase the risk of kidney stones. So it was interesting, he says at the end, do you have the stones to do it? Um, yeah, look, I think- 700 plus grams of protein. Absolutely. Do you have the stones to do it? You're gonna to have to find out for yourself. So yeah, do you have the stones to do it? I think this is a recipe for getting stones, potentially not the stones he's speaking about, maybe kidney stones. But yeah, the research is pretty strong actually on that a really, really high protein diet, like in excess of three grams per kilo of body weight may re increase the risk of kidney stones. But it's just also unnecessary in terms of the money, like in 700 grams of protein per day, you would be spending a huge amount of money, like a huge amount of money, hundreds, if not like a thousand dollars a week on, on meats and chicken. He says, he says it was mainly meats, but with some egg whites, that's still a huge amount of protein to eat. And it's just not necessary for Two reasons is number one, it's expensive to eat that much protein, but also because there was another study that showed that really only 0.24 grams per kilo of body weight was needed per meal to maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis. And you can't stimulate muscle protein synthesis continually throughout the day. There's um, a bout effect of about a few hours. So it spikes and then you can sort of only spike it again after a few hours. But it's just crazy because he is going way too overboard with 700 grams. Really, you only need 0 0.25 grams per meal um, to maximally stimulate it. And anything above this is just creating more waste products in your system that 
is not necessary for muscle building. I would rather for you guys to take the advice that you take the minimal effective dose of protein and then, you know, to build muscle. And then anything above that is just excess that your body essentially breaks down into urea, calcium, and uric acid, and then will excrete through your urine. So I don't know why he eats 700 grams of protein um, because he's definitely, you definitely do not need that much to build muscle. And I would argue in fact that his physique could have been attained through um, normal amounts of protein, like 1.62 grams per kilo of body weight. He probably would have had the same results, but he's eating an extra 550 on top of that or roughly 550 grams on top of that for virtually no reason in the literature. The literature also shows there's more hyperfiltration. So there's actual damage to the kidneys themselves by a high protein diet, especially in terms of the oxidative stress and the cardiovascular disease from the waste products that, that are created. But mainly in terms of um, the fact that a high protein diet has been shown to increase the filtration rate in our kidneys and there are some studies that argue a chronic exposure to this high blood filtration rate going through the kidneys constantly may actually damage the glomeruli in the kidneys um, and lead to glomerulosclerosis, which is a very hard word to say. But yeah, so I just wanted to give this response video. I saw this on my feed and I thought I had to respond to it because the advice here is ridiculous and you do not need this much protein to build muscle at all. So for you guys out there that might've seen this and maybe thinking of following this, you definitely do not need this much protein. I argue that it's just creating excess waste products in your blood. And even if the, even if the excess waste products in your blood are not necessarily harmful, which the literature says they may be harmful in terms of chronic oxidative stress, inflammation and cardiovascular disease, but let's say they're not, it's just, um, yeah, it's just excess money going to nothing really. I mean, he's maximally stimulating his muscle growth each meal with a certain dose, which has been shown in the literature to be around 24 grams for young guys or about 40 grams for older guys. Um, and he's just going far beyond that and just wasting time, effort, money, and potentially putting his health and his kidney health at risk in the long term for not much added benefit it's a bit of a like threshold, you know, once that muscle protein synthesis level is hit, any more protein above that is not going to stimulate muscle growth anymore. You hit the threshold and that's it for another few hours. So yeah, look, 700 grams is crazy. You definitely do not need that much. Follow the guidelines, which is about 1.62 grams per kilo of body weight. If you're a bit older, you may potentially need up to a gram of protein per pound because as you get older, your ability to use protein for muscle protein synthesis actually decreases. Um, but yeah, don't follow this advice, please. Whatever you do, 700 grams of protein is ridiculous. And yeah. That's the kind of stuff we're fighting against in the fitness industry, this bullshit basically, that people use their anecdotal one person singular experience to then preach that it's the only way. Like he has had one experience, but he, who knows what shape his kidneys are in or how his blood looks. So don't take anecdotal advice from one person, focus on the science and that's what this channel hopes to do. So if you're interested, please subscribe where I discuss all the science to help you reach your fitness goals more effectively. And um, yeah, stay safe out there and don't listen to the bullshit. If something seems weird, it probably is. Look at the science and that's what this channel hopes to do is provide you the best quality science to, like I said, achieve those goals. So thank you for watching. I hope you all are doing well and I will see you in the next video.